Okay, in this video, we want to solve this problem using eigenvalues and eigenvectors to get a general solution. So let's get started. We first define A. So we say A is defined as, uh, we have a two by two matrix. So we hit this icon right here, hit two by two, and write what we have. So one, three, negative two, and the last one was uh, negative four. And next, we will do A minus R. And by doing that, it automatically does, does it correctly, where just one minus R and, neg and negative four minus R. It keeps these two the same, which it should. And next, we're gonna get the uh, determinant. So we hit menu, uh, uh, seven actually, menu, seven, matrix and vectors. We go to uh, three for determinant and we simply write answer and this is what we get next we want to get the roots so to get the eigenvalues so we hit menu algebra uh, we go to polynomial tools and we go complex roots of polynomials um, we write ans answer comma r and so our two eigenvalues will be negative two and negative one and so next we want to get the eigenvector. So we can go back to back to this a minus r, and we will define and we will set so control equal line straight down. We set r is equal to minus two. This one right here, one eigenvalue. Hit enter, and this is what we get. And next we will get the uh, row reduced echelon form of this. So r r e f. Uh, parentheses answer hit enter and this is what we get so that means v1 v1 minus minus because we have minus here uh, two-thirds uh, two-thirds times v2 is equal to zero and also this would mean that v1 is equal to uh, two divided by three uh, v2 just rearranging and so the eigenvector for this will therefore be I'm just gonna write it down if we plug in uh, 2 for v1 that means v2 would have to be 3 because uh, 2 times 3 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 and so another way to look at it is 2 times we, we plug in 3 for v2 so two times three is six, six divided by three is two. So V1 is two, V1 is two, and V2 is three. And therefore we can say for this one eigenvector, hence V is equal to two third is an eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue of R is equal to negative two. And so the next thing that we're gonna do is do the other eigenvalue. So let's scroll up to remember so the other eigenvalue was negative one. So we do the exact same thing. Instead of plugging in negative two, we plug in negative one. And this is what we get. And next we do row reduce echelon form of this. We get this value. And so this is saying V1 minus V2 is equal to zero. And so therefore V1 is equal to V2 and that means the eigenvector would be uh, 1, 1. Because if V1 is 1, then V2 is also 1. Or if V2 is 1, then V1 is also 1. And so, like what we did for the other uh, problem, we will say, uh, hence, V is equal to 1, uh, 1 is an eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue of R is equal to minus 1. And so let me just pull up the other thing we wrote, this one right here. So let me first hit enter for this, and let me pull up the other one. Hit enter. And so now we want to get a general solution for this problem. And the general solution is a uh, combination of the two. And it's going to be uh, a general solution is x is equal to c1 e raised to negative 2t. Uh, then we have, this is because we're using negative 2 comes from here. r is equal to minus 2. And the eigenvector was 2, 3. Plus, then we do C2, E raised to negative T because R 
is negative 1, so negative t, and the eigenvector was 1, 1. And so that's all we need to do for this problem. And so if you missed this step, I'm going to expand what we have. And so you probably can't see this. So let me pull like 150, and I'm going to scroll down. So I'm going to scroll down now. And so, yeah, if you miss a step, you should be able to copy everything. And that's all we need to do for this problem. And the last thing is, this was a general solution. Uh, and that's it.